It took just seconds from the time Asiana Flight 214 crash landed until it burst into flames. What's left of the plane shows how fortunate most of the passengers were to get out unscathed. The Boeing 777 flight from Shanghai and Seoul to San Francisco hit a seawall as it tried to land, leaving a trail of debris on the runway at San Francisco International Airport. All of a sudden the plane was coming down, it's coming down pretty hard. Constantine Abramson watched it all unfold from his balcony. The initial impact looked like the plane had this split in half. This eyewitness said he was in disbelief as the flight approached. If this is the runway. It came in like this and I was just watching the wheels and it just hit like that and the whole thing just collapsed immediately. It never really had a chance. Passengers got out using emergency slides. Robert Andrighetto's wife and daughter were on board. He says both were slightly injured, but told him by phone they were okay. They started evacuating everybody, and now they're making evaluations, and they're going to be running them to the hospital. One by one, other worried family members also got the news they were hoping to hear. Mark Schimmel's son was uninjured. I'm extremely thankful that he's all right. But late today came confirmation that some on board did not survive. Yes, San Francisco I, Fire I Chief Joanne Hayes-White. Uh, there are two fatalities associated with this incident. At least 80 passengers were sent to area hospitals. There are still few answers as to what caused this crash. On recordings released this afternoon, air traffic controllers radio the pilot. 214 Heavy, emergency vehicles are responding. We have everyone on their way. Immediately after the crash, all incoming flights were diverted away from San Francisco. The investigation is only now beginning into how a seemingly uneventful landing went so horribly wrong. Two of the four runways here at San Francisco International Airport have now been reopened to air traffic. Officials here are still trying to account for all of the 291 passengers aboard the flight. John Blackstone, CBS News, Millbrae, California.